so I'm here at the Nampu show and I just met the guys from Multiplast SA. It's the first time that I see this little welder. It's an all-in-one welder. You can weld it any, any metal that you can think of. It's a welder, cut the torch, all-in-one. So I asked the guys to do a little demonstration first. You can see they're very popular. Selling the machines a lot here at the show. Very popular machine. So they're going to do a quick demo first. Hope you enjoy. Good morning, Rocky Leroux from St. Best Agriculture. We've got a new Multiplast uh, welder here. Plasma cutter and welder, new technology that's available at St. Vies, only St. Vies. Uh, we're going to give you a demonstration and I promise you, you won't find it anywhere else. The best thing you can buy for yourself, make sure you get one, otherwise you lose out. Morning, my name is David. I'm from Multiplast, South Africa. We're going to do a little bit of cutting for you. Now we only use water. Tap water, distilled water, river water, dam water, whatever water you can find. 60 milliliters of water I cut between 20 and 40 minutes. All depends on the application that I want to use it for. Now you can decide how thick you want to cut. So what we do is you fill it up here on top. If it comes out in front, it's full. There we go. And if you don't believe it's tap water, Cheers. <laughs> Normal water, guys. Right, so let's quickly set this water alight. We are used to take water and kill fire. Now we take water and make fire. So how does it work? It takes the water, it breaks it up into oxygen and hydrogen. It takes the hydrogen, turns it into a plasma at 8,000 degrees Celsius, 14,400 Fahrenheit inside here. And it releases oxygen. Now, this machine is all about safety, guys. You won't do this with your cutting torch. And I'm not man of steel. The reason why I can do it is because I'm using water, so the heat is not like your cutting torch with your oxygen and acetylene. That's a dry cutting heat. This is water, so it's a steam pressure, it's a steam heat. So if you turn around, you're not going to set your friend alive by accident. Okay, we've got a few stuff. We think we want to cut here. Just to show you how you can control what you want to do. You can put it very low. There's a piece of square tubing, like a rusted material. That's always a problem to cut. I can write my name, my name on there without going through because I can control how deep I want to cut. So if you've got two plates on top of each other or three or five millimeters apart, you can control how deep you cut. You can only cut the top one a hole in or whatever you want to do without damaging the bottom part. Now just by going up with my steam pressure, that's what I'm doing here. If I turn it here, I'm making the chamber a little bit bigger, so it builds up more steam pressure. So now I'm going to build up 1.2 to 1.4 bars of pressure inside here. That is why I am limited only to 10 millimeters cut. Because your plasma cutter has got a compressor that builds up 10, 15, 20 bars of pressure. This one 1.2 to 1.4. Now there's the hole. It's through. Now you can cut whatever you like without damaging the bottom part. Galvanize. <laughs> always a problem to cut. There it's through. Now this is basically with my cutting torch. If I want to convert it into a plasma cutter, all I have to do is press the button. Now I've changed it into a plasma cutter. Look at this. There's the plasma. Automatic. I want to show you, it only takes away the galvanized there where the laser is cutting. And don't burn away all the galvanized. So if you have to well, work on galvanized pipes or something like that, 
You're not going to damage all the galvanized. It's only there where you are working that it will take away the galvanized. All right, guys. Cast iron manifold. That is the biggest problem today in the whole world because you can't weld the cast iron and guarantee. No one guarantees the weld. So guys, it's the same machine, you get two torches with a machine, you get a cutting torch, you get a welding torch. They are exactly the same. Should something happen with your cutting torch, you will only change the nozzles. Because your cutting nozzle has got a small hole, welding nozzle has got a little bit bigger hole. If you're going to do welding, you're going to use a mixture of 50% ethanol or isopropylene and 50% water. With your cutting, you only use water. Now we start our welding. Let's see if we can fix that. Okay guys, your welding rods, wire. Whatever you've got on the farm, wire. Rusted wire, galvanized wire. If it's paint, it doesn't matter. Right, so let me just cut a little piece here so that I've got a welding rod here. Alright, so now we must fix this manifold that I buggered up. Now guys, usually you will preheat it and you will bake it in the oven and then you will weld a little piece, put it back before it cools down too fast, otherwise it's gonna crack. So now here's my welding rod. I don't preheat anything, I take it and I just weld. They don't have to clean anything. This machine is doing all the work for you, so you just weld. You don't have to wear anything, your welding or your welding helmet is normal dark glasses. Now you will see there's no toxic gas, there's no sparks, you don't burn your skin, don't get arc eyes. It releases oxygen while you are welding. So if you have to work in a confined space, you don't need extra oxygen because this machine releases oxygen. And there that big hole is closed. Go. Now you fix your manifold. <coughs> now if you don't like that hump that is on there, you will take your grinder and you're going to grind it off. Sir, you are weakening that valve now. Here's your grinder in your hand. You just take it and you make it flat. So now you can melt it all in there and make it smooth it out until you are happy with it. No. Now, if you take cast iron, if you're finished with the weld, you have to leave it so that it cools down by itself, otherwise it's going to crack and break. Now I want to put this back in the car, but it's hot. I'm going to burn if I touch there. 
What is my solution? Cheers. Right. Water, guys. You can't do this. With cast iron. Why? Because it will break. It's going to crack. Now I can pull it down. And now I can take it and I can go and put it back in my car. And I can touch it. See if there's any cracks. No cracks. Why can I do this? What is the difference between the Multiplast 3500 and your thick welder and your arc welder and your CO2? The difference is all your other welding machines is an add-on. This one takes the metal and it melts the metal at 8,000 degrees Celsius. So I am mixing my mild steel and my cast iron together. I'm breaking up the molecules. I'm mixing the molecules. So I'm creating a whole new kind of metal. You can call it whatever you like. Now your cooling process between these two different metals is exactly the same. The one cannot cool down faster than the other one because they are keeping each other warm. That is why you can cool your cast iron now down with water. You can't do it with any other machine. Okay, let's do a little bit of mild steel. Now this will also be your typical corner well. <laughs> Let's stack it quickly. Let's stack. No filler rods, no nothing. Let's stack. Fuck. Try. Now I want to hold it. If you cut your corners so that it's nice together, you can build a tank of 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers high without using one filler rod or one welding rod. Look at this. Get my puddle and there I go. Penetration all depends on myself because the longer I'm gonna keep it there, the deeper the laser will go in or the plasma will go in and it will melt until it goes right through eventually. So I am welding or melting the metals together at 8,000 degrees Celsius. Here we go. Do I want to use the color rod, guys? Again, normal wire. That will be your welding rod for cast iron, mild steel, whatever you want to weld. Right. So let's fill it up. You want your CO2 effect or your arc welder effect? You can have it. Now this is like braising on steroids. <laughs> there you go. Now you've got your half welder or your CO2 effect. If you don't like that weld, if that weld is ugly, now you're going to take your grinder and you're going to grind it off. You are weakening that weld because you're taking away all that place. So let's smooth it out. You can just go back and now you can go and smooth it all out until you are happy with it. So you can make your weld as nice as you like. Now guys, you can weld any kind of metal with this machine. You weld aluminium, stainless steel, cast iron, mild steel, filter, stuff that you couldn't have done before, now you can do it. You weld ferrous and non-ferrous metals. And you can weld ferrous and non-ferrous metals together. Like for instance, here we've got copper onto aluminium. Here's glass onto copper. Copper onto aluminium. The stuff that you couldn't have done before, you can do.
does. And that is how easy it is without aluminium. Way without it, aluminium. So even if you haven't dwelt aluminium ever in your life, you will be able to weld aluminium. So that is why we give the training on this machine as well, so that you will be able to weld aluminium, stainless steel, cast iron, mild steel, copper, brass. You will do brazing, silver soldering. You will weld ferrous and non-ferrous metals together. Everything that you couldn't have done before. You will even fix filter. There we weld the future. Stuff that you can't fix, that you throw away, now you can fix it. For the guys that is doing fishing, you know the handle of your fishing rod? That's pewter. If it breaks off, you have to go and buy a new one. You throw it away. Now you can fix it. You can stand this deep in water and well, that is why we've got this. So what is this? This is your rod holder. So instead of holding the rod in your hand while you are welding, you will use your rod holder. This goes at the back of your machine. And that is basically like an extra earth so that you don't get shocked. So the electricity is going through your torch, through there, through your machine. And the electric cycle is through there, not through you. But if you hold it in your hand, then you become part of the electric cycle. <laughs> Thank you very much.